Well, hi everybody, and welcome to the completely wrong night. What just happened? Hi everybody, and welcome. My name's Kevin. And I'm Heather. And, and I'm Katie. We are the Going Batty Clan, uh, plus three more that are downstairs watching TV. Because uh, it's the only TV we ever <laughs> let them watch. Yes. Um, but anyway, um, we came on tonight because we wanted to hang out with you. And while people are joining us and we're giving shout outs to the people as they come on, I have looked up some interesting skills that you might need to homestead uh, the top 15 modern day homesteading skills that you might need. Okay? These are the modern day, modern day. Not yesterday. Not yesterday, but today. Not in the days of yours. Not the days of yours, ours, it's and theirs. Not in the ye olde days. Not in ye old timey days, but the days of yo. So here they are. There's 15 uh, modern day skills that you and I should learn to be better homesteaders. Are you ready? Okay. All right. So you need to do shout outs to people as they come on, my love. Okay. okay. All right. So um, we've got first... How, learn how to mill your own grains. So we say hi to Life Unwired and Brad Toby and Katie Batson uh, and what? <laughs> Katie going batty. Uh, oops. Yep. And Michelle and C. Dean and shut up, Kevin. Wonderful blessed life, Crazy J. <laughs> hi, Coco Noel. Coco Noel, I was getting there. Nancy <laughs> Hoffman Family Homestead, Virginia. Pam Walker, Amy T. Hi, Pam Walker. I just said that. I wanted to say hi. Okay. I, am I not allowed to say hi? Tim. Tim. Oh, Tim. Tim. Is is your let's see. Is your wife Alicia? Mm. Just because I'm looking at the last name and the last name looks familiar. They look connected. Yes. Anyway, uh, number two, while most homesteading families have a well to use for their drinking water, the other water needs, redundancy is the key to both survival and sustaining the homestead. Hi, Maya, and Trucking It Up is here. We haven't seen you in forever. Trucking It Up, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, um, Alicia's here. Okay, we, I have to do something. Okay, right. Alicia. Alicia. Alicia has a daughter named Katie. Awesome. Katie watches our videos. Awesome. Katie just turned 15 on Monday. So Hi, Katie. happy birthday, Katie. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday to, to you. you. Touch happy birthday to you. Touch happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. And many more. All right. So, hi, Danny69. Stan Elder is here. Oh, goodness. Uh, for, okay, I already did Virginia. So, Little Green Acres. So, hello, 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 everybody. So, stop throwing things at Sorry. the children. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, okay. No. Number three. Retired thing. and prepping. Hi. Capture your own wild yeast for bread making, Heather. Okay. You have to do that if you're going to be a modern day homesteader. I know who does that. Who does that? Angie's Pantry does that. She Angie's makes Pantry. Own, she makes her own sourdough starters. If you and don't know Angie's channel, you got to check it out. Yes, She's got Angie's some great Pantry. stuff. Um, she uh, she dehydrates her uh, her sourdough starter, mm -hmm. and then like I guess like crumbles it up and puts it in little bags and mm -hmm. ways to use it. So yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Butcher your own meat is not only a money saver, but it could be a money maker. Two Family Homestead is here. Hi, Two Family Homestead. How are you? Um, I've you know I love butchering my own meat. I love butchering the chickens and the pigs and the cat and you all kinds of different cat. things. Or the dog. No. Right, my hair looks we, really weird today. You look great. You look beautiful, my love. You are always <laughs> you, you are always like, gorgeous. You a little even... bit of booviness there. It just seems really flat. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, All right. Anyway. I'm glad we got that so, out of the way. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I missed somebody. And Brown so that she's busy working on a knitting project right now while she's listening to us. Excellent. So, I'm working on crochet because I don't knit. Ah. Because I'm not. I have never learned how to do that. So. 
I just barely me learned how to crochet. So. The doctors looked at me at a very young age and said, nah. Okay. Um, number five, learn how to make your own butter from cream. Yikes, and 18 degrees. Grandma's so happy. This, you need to put on extra socks. As I tell my children, I'm cold. You need to go put a sweatshirt on. So. Very good. Very good. Um, number five, learn how to make your own butter from cream and to make cheese from the milk garnered from your cows and goats. Gardner, that would be awesome, I've wouldn't it? i made milk. I've made butter, too. You've made milk? I don't have my own cow. You've made milk. milk. I've, well, well <laughs> when I had four kids. kids <laughs> but, but we're not going there. Different. It's a family show. We don't make cheese out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Our butter. And you are not getting that t-shirt either, folks. <laughs> mm, <laughs> um, that's wrong. I should have said that. No, no. you don't. Um, <laughs> so I've made cheese and I've made <laughs> butter before. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. All right, we're back at it. <laughs> All right, uh, let me look at number six here. Uh, composting is a simple skill. We do a lot. We actually have a pretty good compost we have a pretty pile good going compost on. Compost pile going. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Number seven. Uh, learn how about all the uses of gray water around the homestead. Gray water. Gray water is like sink water. Okay. Uh, bathtub water. Never let a valuable and free resource go to waste. The collection of gray water on a regular basis will reduce your drain uh, on your well and portable water stores um, during a drought, power outage, and or disaster. Katie, did you see what two family said? Katie, close your ears. Go la 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 la. <laughs> Too, late. Too late for that. No. For some reason, Katie's always caught in the crossfire of our goofiness. No, she I'm walks in the room right at the wrong awkward. time. I'm always in the room when something awkward is said. That's I'm like, right. why me? It's always me it's with it. someone else or me by myself. Um, number eight, growing your own sprouts to feed uh, to small livestock. Like Well, we're rabbits. growing, we're growing our, our kale and we're feeding it to our rabbits. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And we, we, uh, we, <laughs> we've kind of had a crazy schedule lately. Okay. It has been uh, difficult for us to find our rhythm. Uh, typically, we can find a rhythm where I, you know, I'm going to work and I'm, you know, uh, we have this certain je ne sais quoi. No, I don't know what that That's means. That's not you. I don't know what that means. Oh. Okay. Because... Anyway. Right. We're not friends. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we just have not found our rhythm. And so it is kind of messed with our schedule, and that's why this week we couldn't be on Wednesday. We had to be on Thursday, and uh, the feedback has been, "Oh, be be on be on Thursday." Yeah, we like Thursday, um, and so we're going to do that. But um, we are not sure we're going to keep it here, but we have to be here for the next week uh, or two. So um, we're going to we're going to enjoy that as we can. Um, We've got a crazy schedule. It's just been outrageous. Uh, Heather went out and had a little bit of time. She, she's been rocking this homeschool thing, folks. Heather has been uh, nailing it to the wall, and the kids have been doing a great job, yeah. um, which we love watching as well because they're not just learning. They're excelling, and that's exciting to watch. Yeah. So, uh, But Heather got a chance to go out with the girls today. Yes. And who were the girls? The girls are my mom and my grandmother and my Aunt Kathy, who is, they are like super fun. My, my grandmother is, um, she just had surgery, so we were a little concerned with her because um, it was in her mouth and she wasn't eating a whole lot and nope. everything that she ate didn't taste good to her and she nope. didn't want stuff. After a while, you don't want stuff blended up anymore. But we went out, we went to Cracker Barrel today and she ate chicken noodle soup and she ate a whole mm. whole cup of it. So, woohoo! That's awesome. And we went to um, the the meat place that's down the street here from us. The, the butcher the, shop. The butch it's pretty much a butcher shop. It really is. So, it's yeah. an old timey butcher shop. Yeah. Only not and so old timey. So, and I got bacon and I got stew meat mm. and I got, I got ground chuck for like $2 and 49 cents a pound, which that's awesome. I don't know about anywhere else, but around here it's nearly almost, it's usually about three seventy five to $4 a pound for it. That's expensive. So, so and it's ground chuck too, not just 
plain hamburger, so I, I got that. I don't know what Chuck did, but we ground them up. But and when they you were cook it cook down, them. it doesn't cook down as much because it doesn't have as much fat in it. Yeah. So and then I got stew meat, and then I got um, I got they sell they sell uh, soup bones, so I got bones. For, <laughs> the only thing you can get here <laughs> for two seventy five is wood chuck. <laughs> Home run. That was a home run. <laughs> Give that person a prize. That so, was awesome. Um, and I got I got the soup bone, so I'm gonna make beef beef bone broth and what else did I? Oh, I got Italian sausage too. So oh. and I got it all for like what was it? Under it was like thirty two dollars for all of it. Wow. So yeah. Which is not bad. For me, oh, that's a horrible picture of us. I love it. <laughs> so, I love it. But so yeah, so I went out with the girls today, and then we went to lunch, and then because that's usually like the thing that we do. Like shopping's kind of, you know, we might get to that, but lunch, lunch is the thing that we we want to get to. So we went to we went to Cracker Barrel, and they have all of their Christmas stuff up, which is always fun because they have really cute Christmas stuff. And um, what else did we do? Oh, we went to Costco, and my mom fussed at my aunt because she didn't need to buy any more socks, and my aunt was looking at socks. So, <laughs> so my aunt has like, well, I was actually there. She buys them for my grandmother, and my grandmother has a whole drawer full of socks, plus I think two shoe boxes under her bed full wow, of socks. That's a lot of and socks. And my mom was like, don't you buy her any more socks. We should so, so get her socks for Christmas. <laughs> Just to and get like coffee cups. we should get coffee cups, socks, and get them for your mom instead yeah. of for your grandmother. My my grandmother will collect coffee cups wherever she goes, and so she has a bunch of them. Oh, he does the same also thing. rubber ducks. Aunt Kathy collects. Yeah, rubber and my ducks. aunt co collects rubber ducks. The only difference but, is when I collect a coffee cup, I have four wonderful children that break them for me. <laughs> yeah, so so my mom is like, you know, she doesn't need any more coffee cups. She doesn't need any more socks. So Kevin's planning mm -hmm. on buying my grandmother socks and coffee cups. No, for your Christmas. mom. Oh, for my mom? Yeah. yeah. I'll get her an extra and brand ducks. new coffee mug. And ducks. And okay. what? Ducks. Ducks? Yeah. yeah rubber it, ducks. Oh, Kathy sure. Kathy loves rubber ducks. I'm like, we did have ducks on her property. She <laughs> yeah. has like... That thing was not she fun. She has like 70 million ducks on her keyboard. I can't tell you how many times I got attacked by that thing. Oh, that duck was mean. <laughs> well, I'll need to chip in to purchase Kevin a rubber coffee mug. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, so true. So, so true. Yeah, so that was my day today. And, and you went to the Cracker Barrel, you said. Yeah, I went to the Cracker Barrel. And tell them Barrel. about the new experience you had at Cracker Barrel. Well, every time I've been... Because we've had some old experiences yeah, at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, the last, Barrel. I don't know, 15... We've always loved their grocery, their shop. Yeah. Their little store. Well, that's like 10 times we've been to Cracker Barrel. We've had like horrible service and really bad food. Yeah. But like they kind of brought their A game. Like they put, I got a salad, they brought it out and it like was, looked really good. It was good. green. It, yeah, it was green. It wasn't multi. They had, um, instead of... Uh, like hard boiled eggs they actually had deviled eggs on it mm. and so and it was not just all piled in one place they had done it where it was really pretty and you know everything I'm like hmm that's kind of nice dude you that's were awesome. you're lucky the last time I got a she salad just there you dude, by the way. I had moldy dude, tomatoes <laughs> ew. <laughs> so, ew I don't want to eat this yummy that's not cool <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. eating cream peas. <laughs> Ew, no, I did not eat cream peas. No, no thank you. No, stop eating my strawberries. Mm -hmm, but they're good. No, they're, oh, okay. they're my health food, eh? So, um, so yeah, that was my day today. And then we came home, and then I went back out, and I went grocery shopping because, um, you know. That's what you do on well, these days. No, well, I, because the girls got tired. Because my grandmother, like, she, like I said, she had surgery on her mouth, and my aunt was not feeling well. She's having issues with asthma, so... Um, they went home and then I went back out with the boys and finished all the grocery shopping and... Hey, Bandana Grandma. Yeah. Hey. She's here. Hey, Bandana Grandma. Awesome. So... Very yeah. cool. So that was my day today. Someone, yeah. Someone and makes green, cream peas on toast. Cream peas on toast? I mean, okay. Okay. No, I'm not a pea guy. No. Um, kicking myself, I should have ordered takeout. Okay. There you go. I don't, I don't disagree with that. I, I would like some takeout too. Well, you already. You oh were, well, Kevin. <laughs> you already had dinner tonight. I did. I had a good dinner tonight. Yes, I did. I did something very home steady. I bought chicken from Walmart <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like, I'm not gonna get mm. home in time to this make dinner. This chicken tastes a lot like China. And so I bought fried chicken over at Walmart. So wait, boo. Mm. I know. We. It was again. It's a busy schedule. How do yeah. you do it all in one day? Well, you enlist the help of um, <laughs> or 
Katie. Or. Meyer. Or. Dad. Or. <laughs> I'm not sure what else you're wanting me to say. I know, say. I just want to see what okay. people would say. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, what's next? I am uh, reading and got lost, so. Oh, yeah, lost, okay. So Cracker Barrel. Oh, and we had we've had um, the the. Um, <laughs> How are you going to explain the that one, dear? Of, of uh, smart aleckness has been going around our yes. house. Oh, yeah. We have Baroness von Shush, shush. over here in the corner who shushes everybody. She's like shush, shush, shush. <laughs> like when the boys are talking, she's like shush. I'm like stop that. And shush. then there's Miles today who. <laughs> Man. I, I, go, I look at him and I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to make this one dish that we really like, but I'm going to use spaghetti squash in it for your dad. <laughs> and he's like, well, or can you make regular pasta? And I said, no, you're going to have to learn how to eat spaghetti squash. And he looks at me and he gets this twinkle in his eye. I'm like, oh, here it comes. And he goes, I know how to eat it. You stick a fork in it and you put it in your mouth. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, and then we were at Walmart and, um, they have come out with these new Ken dolls, which <laughs> just, Ken has a man bun. He's had issues for and, 20 years. Well, and this is what Mike, my, Miles said. He's like, they already took his manhood. Now that they, they give him a man bun, they make him less manly than he already is. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All right, you got to hold that up. People so, are asking. What? Oh, that, people, people want to see what you're crocheting. I am making a poncho. It is a so. skirt with holes no, in it. No, it's a poncho. <laughs> it oh. is, it's. I'm using like the, um, the they can't um, see that part. Well, I'm using like this the the yarn I'm using is kind of that homespun yarn, so um, it's that virus pattern, and it's a lot, it's a lot more forgiving. Not that kind of virus. When YouTube. it's in like that kind of yarn, so yeah. you can't see some of the mistakes I made. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm working on. And I had to make the neck smaller because I was putting it on even on me, the neck was like huge, and I'm like, this is for an elephant. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't fit people, so, but, yeah, so that's what, yeah, we were, we were having to deal with, and then, then Max was saying something, like, Max is the king of the one-liners anyway, oh, he is. Oh, he when is. he comes through, and <laughs> he walked past me, and we, they were talking about something, like, you're Baroness Von Trusha, you're not funny, or something like that, and he's like, it's a joke, and you're the punchline, <laughs> yeah, so, there you go, so, Oh, yeah. that's funny. Well, good night, Sharon. Thanks for joining us for this little piece of time. Uh, we are we're just going to keep partying, yeah. though, because yeah. we got, we got a lot to talk about. Um, we have got to get reorganized on our schedule. Yes. We, we've got to get uh, kind of these blocks of time figured out so that we're not running in and, away, in and away from each other, but we're actually staying next to each other and, and doing uh, life together instead of kind of this breezy walk past you and yeah. say bye but um i think the biggest thing that we've missed over the last couple of weeks has been eating together as a family and that's a pretty big deal for us we we do it often and we believe in it and we believe in making time for it we have crazy cray here from living not dying awesome so it must have sent them over okay sorry awesome we're glad you're here um and it's just one of those things where I feel like we need to we need to get our schedule back on track and to get some things put back together that aren't uh, that aren't too crazy. Um, but our story overall has been uh, run and do you know stuff. Well, and and I'm having an issue too because uh, this this homeschool curriculum that I'm using is um, I have to be more like kind of. Before it was more computer based and now it's more book based because I wanted more for my records. But that also means that I'm doing more one on one with them and I'm doing more grading of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I've kind mm -hmm. of like, it has been so hard for me because I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get like, I, I haven't made bread in like a two weeks. <laughs> um, I'm really, it's really hard for me to get like cooking videos done because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get all this stuff done. and I just need to sit down and I need to go okay my old schedule doesn't work so I have to sit down I think I'm gonna do it Saturday and just kind of rework my schedule and go okay so um, either Friday or Saturday because usually we have to do school this Friday because we had to take off because of Katie's root canal that she had to have done mm -hmm. and um, so either Friday or Saturday I need to do all of my planning for next week and then do like the, the chore charts and yeah um, all that kind of stuff and then um, I need to 
I need to figure out, okay, what was my schedule going to be during the week, during those few minutes of downtime that I have when mm -hmm. the kids don't need me for something. So, um, yeah, so I have to figure that out because we're gone. They're, well, they're gone all day Sunday, and then they're in the evening Monday, and then in the evening Tuesday, and then we have usually our live stream on Wednesday, except not this week because of his, um, his work schedule. But... Um, and then Thursday evening we're kind of together, and Friday's his day off, and Saturday is sometimes a uh, is up in the air depending on what the ministry needs. So we're just kind of you know, I, sometimes I feel like we're kind of passing each other and like, hey, how's it going? It's nice to see you. Time to go to bed. Mwah. Good night. It's all, so, it's all jacked up and messed yeah. up. So we're gonna get on a good routine here. It's just gonna yeah. take a little bit of time. Um, uh, let's see here, Caitlin. We are very excited for Christmas. Let me tell you, we've got a whole new section to our show where we're going to talk about nothing but Christmas. Yeah. And, um, and uh, all the Christmas fun that we like to have. So that's coming up in just a few minutes. We've got a great, a great bunch of things to talk about. We're going to talk about homeschool and how we have been library repellent lately. Every time we make plans to go to a library, whether it's Heather taking the kids to a local library or me taking the kids to the downtown Dayton library that just got a huge facelift. Yep. Um, it, and I hear it's awesome. I mean, libraries are incredible nowadays. Anyway, you can go to a library and for a small fee, use a 3D printer. Remember back in the day when 3D printers were just a Star Trek thing? Now uh, you can make uh, things out of anything that you'd like. Um, it just blows my way. But we've been uh, library repellent lately in the fact that Heather's wanted to take the kids to the local library and then I've wanted to take them so that we could take, tour the big Dayton library. And guess what's happened? It's been closed. None of the above. None of the above. <clears throat> um, and who knew? Kevin can add. You want yes. to add to that? Yes. <laughs> So today, it just let me let me lead into this. I am an arithmetic. I do not believe math exists. Matter of fact, I'm offended, uh, and I would like for you to not force your mathematical beliefs on me. However, so, so today I was working with Miles on his creative writing, and I had to work with Jack on his creative writing. So Katie was doing her. Lift it up again. Laura wants to see oh. what you're crocheting. Uh, was doing her well, let me find the right end there you go so it's right. a poncho it's a poncho so um so katie was doing her algebra mm -mm. and <laughs> what was it then no algebra no not again <laughs> she was doing algebra she's, she's in, not doing she's, it now she's, she's pretty much kind of in half algebra algebra one so and she um she was having issues with it and I, I had told her, I'm like, you, hold on a second, honey, I gotta finish with them. And Kevin's like, well, I'll help you. And I'm, I'm like, like <gasps> excuse me. <laughs> so, and, and he helped her and she got it right. I was so surprised. He can turn negative, he can turn uh, negative numbers into fractions. That was awesome. And then um, I was helping Jack and Max needed help with his math, and like he he had a, he just had one of those what what was it in Anna Green Gables they call them Jonah days, where oh, it's yeah. like the only thing worse is if you're swallowed by a whale, <laughs> and um, he was just struggling with his math yesterday and struggling, and I explained something to him, and I haven't done algebra in like what, eighteen years, twenty years, and I'm like I totally told him wrong, totally told him wrong, and I was so mad at myself because he went through did all the work and then got it all wrong because I told him wrong. Mm -hmm. And so Kevin helped him with his math and he got it all right. And I'm like, see, he's sneaky. He's just, <laughs> it's that, it's that, you know, I'm going to do like when mom tells me to do the dishes, I'm going to do a half tiny job so that she doesn't ask me to do the dishes anymore. Now I know, now I know he can do math. So I told him, I was like, any math questions, go to your dad. <laughs> so. we, we were doing algebra, Max and I sat down and we were talking about, um, I forget the names of them. I just, I'm a good problem solver. And so we sat down and looked at what the other numbers were saying. And, and there was negatives plus negatives and negatives minus negatives with brackets and the numbers inside. And I don't know what any of that. In, in, integers? Inter integers? Integers. Integers. Integers, yeah. 
Um, and so uh, we were doing that, some of that stuff, and it was just kind of fun. It was fun problem solving with my kids and watching them get it because it really is one of those things where you just got to lead them a little bit. You got to show them. You got to model it. It's not cheating, but uh, you, you lead them a little bit, and then they start figuring it out on their own, and you're like, okay, one of these things looks like the other, and just kind of lead them down that road to see how they get it. Um, doing uh, doing homeschool on so many different levels is different than, no, you, uh, leave that here, up there. We're gonna need that in a second. Um, and uh, in our scenario, Heather does a really good job of everything. I mean, she just does a great job of getting them together. There are so the, days where I'm the, like... the fact that I can come in and one day and just help a little, um, you know, I, I get to I get to help on the fun days, like when we go on field trips or field we trip take road days, trips yeah. or whatever like that. But because I hate driving anywhere that even remotely resembles a city at yeah. all. Wow. You know, and Dayton's not big, and I hate driving in Dayton. I'm well, like, it's it's just something you got to get kind of familiar with, and once you do, it's it's not that scary. Oh, I gotta tell him a story. Can I tell go, him a story? Yeah. Please. Okay. So this has nothing to do with anything we're talking about. Oh, awesome! So, um, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Everybody, get your squirrel lo uh, logos out. So when I took Katie mm -hmm. to the dentist, oh yeah, um, we are driving. Emojis. Okay, so this this dentist is in the most scariest sketchiest part of Dayton and I didn't know it and Kevin didn't tell me so we didn't know I didn't know it and so it was on uh North Dixie which is Kevin was well first he was like well, why didn't you tell me it was there I would have told you to find a different one to go to because we were referred anytime to anytime you hear the word Dixie in Dayton you just yeah. gotta be careful well we were referred to it by our dentist that we go to and um and I was like, well, I, I sent you an invitation to her thing, and it had the address on it. And he's just been so busy, he didn't he didn't, didn't see look. it. So we're driving down, and there's there's this um, there's this place called Target Dayton, and they they help. They're an amazing ministry. It's a ministry that helps homeless people get back on their feet, and and they just do. It's a church. They do just some amazing stuff. Well, I I had to giggle a little bit because standing right outside. Not 15 oh. feet from oh. the front door. Oh, yeah, that was... Was somebody there asking for for money. And I'm going... Not like, just money, but... No, no, this is a different guy. Oh. So, asking for money. And all I could think is, like, if you walk 15 feet through that door, there will be people there that can help you. And, you know, and I know that's probably a very uncompassionate way to look at it. But I'm going, but that's what they do. And they're very good at it. So, we come out. After Katie's all done, her face is all numb, and I'm we're, talking my head off, and yeah, I'm just like, and she's like, she yeah. sounds like she's had one too many to drink, and um, we are driving. She had back. one too many to drink. <laughs> we're driving home, and there's this guy with a sign that he's holding up, and usually it says, you know, homeless, you know, need help, need food, you know, I got small children, or I mean, we've seen all of them around where we live, and um, this one said. Beer money. <laughs> and all his son said. And the person behind us actually gave him money. And I'm like, well, you got to give him credit for being honest. I mean, at least he was honest about it. So and Kitty was like, I can't believe that person just gave them money. Well, you know? it was actually more like, I can't believe this person gave <laughs> yeah, money. True. So that was, that was our, I had to giggle about that a little bit. Because yeah. I'm like, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't agree with that. And he's probably got a, a problem with alcohol but he was honest about it so unbelievable yeah that was that was i'm like oh my gosh the weird things that you see when you go into this i city. was like let's never go back there again yeah that's exactly how she sounded <laughs> so, like, yeah let's not go to this dentist again yeah it was it was scary yeah that dentist was was a little scary but we'll, we'll find somebody new yeah. next time so yeah Sorry. So that's Keep all right. Sharing. So that that was my story of the dentist and the the guy with the beer money sign and I can't believe it. Yeah. You right. know what's been difficult is Dayton has had its um, Dayton has had its seasons of being very cleaned up and very good and it seems to me like it's starting to get um, it's starting to get a little rougher around our edges and we've got to be. We've got to be real sensitive to the fact that people are in need right now. It's the holiday season and people are in need. And so we've got to be open books and be able to support them, but support them in the right way. I mean, giving the person beer money was ridiculous. Um, I guess it's up to them. If you, if you feel like you should give money to somebody and by all means, it's your money, you mm -hmm. can do that. 
um, you, you're going to have to trust that they're going to spend it in a wise way. Because once it leaves your hands... What do you want? Walter's like, he's like walking around like Gina almost. Yeah. He's like, she's like sniffing Maybe. and eating. He's like, food. he's like loving me and he doesn't do that. He doesn't love so He doesn't love anybody. Anyway. Except for me. Um, so I, I just, you know, I know that there's a lot of need right now. But we've, he might need to go downstairs, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you might want to not want to have that cat on your lap right now. <laughs> Leave you a little kitty surprise. Um, but uh, I would say that uh, let's, where's Mr. Pants, the bunny? He's in his house right now. Mr. Pants is this. Mr. Pants had to have a bath yesterday because it smelled like pee-pee. <laughs> oh, <not> yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, and that leads us to uh, oh, the, the, escapee? the escapee. We had a rabbit that escaped this morning. Um, Claire went on the run, um, uh, Claire went on the run and, um, we thought we'd lost her. I mean, yeah. we thought she, she ran off into another person's yard, but she found her way back under Heather's car in our driveway. Yeah. I was getting ready to go out to do grocery shopping and I'm like, all right, boys, come on. She's under the car. So she runs behind the garage and then she runs into some bushes. And actually, of all of our rabbits, besides Mr. Pants, she's the most chill. Like, I just picked her up and held her, and she's fine. Yep. But, yeah. So that oh, was... did you guys tell him about the... No. Oh, no. Uh, no we weren't going to bring that up, actually. Okay, Thanks yeah. for nothing. Um, <laughs> well, we also had... Claire had rabbits. We didn't. Um, Mr. Uh, uh, we had Rusty. another escapee. Uh, before Max uh, took Rusty inside, uh, he... Um, Got into Claire's he, cage. He <clears throat> went on a little bit of a uh, night mission, if you will. <laughs> and, um, uh, um, I know. What? What do you mean you weren't going to tell us? Well, it's, just and it's just a sad story. We found a bunch of dead baby bunnies. And we didn't. I had to check. Nothing will kill a party like bringing up, hey, we had a bunch of dead bunnies. We we had um, don't laugh at it. I'm not. A, it's I, just I ridiculous. Had been, I, I had been checking her every day because like uh, Krista from the Big Family Homestead said that like one of the signs that they were gonna have babies is that they would start pulling their fur out and make a little nest. Well, she never did that, and um, so I, I I checked her earlier that morning, and there was nothing there. And yeah. then Katie and I went out. Um, to do something. I forget what it was. We went out to go Heather, get my Heather, it's okay. Daryl was chuckling. Um, yeah, we went to go get take Katie to the, the dentist. And by the time we came home, it was a colder day that day. Mm -hmm. She had had them, and they they were all gone. And yeah. It was, it was kind sad. of a crappy day, because I couldn't feel half my face, and yeah. bunnies, bunnies died. died and it just, it hasn't been like the stellar week, you know? It, yeah, that was kind of not, it was, I, I cried, because I'm like, I just, I'm a big So we had to kid. make some changes. One of the... One of the big things that we did was we put uh, straw bales around the uh, the cages. So there is a windbreak that's good and strong there now. And they're going to be able, even though it's going to be cold out, they're going to be able to weather that cold. And they're not going to be attacked by the wind. Um, and now we have the we have the cage secure, so there should be yeah. no hanky-panky, if you know and what I'm we've saying. And got, we've, got, um, we've covered the sides so that the wind can't come through. And we have a tarp. That goes around yeah. too. Yeah. So yeah. So I feel like we've got a good rabbit set up. Um, we haven't shown it to you guys in a while because, well, it's cold. It's well, we, we haven't been out. I mean, yeah. think we, about we it. Haven't we haven't been. We've been running since Sunday. Yes. We've been running. True. I mean, it's been crazy. Um, I took a Sabbath today, which was rather nice, but I still worked yeah, you on still my computer. Worked. You still worked. So um, anyway, uh, we're we're gonna be going at it again Saturday with a leaf raking thing. We're headed out to someone's yeah. house to rake their leaves for them, and then help and, somebody um, move. And and then help somebody move. So we might get a little bit of those times to do a little bit of vlogging. But for the most part, tomorrow is the day where we're gonna we're gonna do a few things. So um, before we go to the going batty kitchen. I want to take you guys on a journey and show you something real quick. So, are are you okay if we show you something in our house real quick? You didn't nod, so I'm just going to take that as a maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> maybe are you coming with me? I, I guess so. He All said right. journey on. Like journey, journey on. Sure. All right. Come on. Michelle says sure. Here we go. All right. All right. So, uh, one of the things that I, I stumbled upon uh, when I was first living in this house was the fact that I, I learned how to do something. It's gonna get dark here for do just a second. I'm not gonna show you the nasty bathroom. All right. So, 
empty bathroom. Many, many years ago, I installed this. This was our first go at me doing any kind of plumbing, right? So, um, that uh, has begun a bigger problem, which is our bathtub, which you can't quite see down here, is um, it's not draining. It's like, it, it's kind of a mess. So I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you what one of our next projects is gonna be. Uh, it kinda has to be, and I'm not calling a plumber for it. Um, we're going to do the work ourselves, and we're gonna make sure that, uh, again, it's gonna get a little dark, sorry. We're taking you down to the dungeon. This is the dungeon Maybe where- the grandma asked if she had a choice. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> choice of what? If she, if she had to go. No, yeah, you have to go with us, I'm sorry. So, right above me is our, is our, uh, uh, what is it called, the, bathtub? Yeah, this yeah, is bathtub. bathtub. And so good. this pipe, this galvanized steel pipe right through here, all the way to, hang on, let me get a good camera angle of it. That right there has to be replaced. It's all chunked up, it's all grossed out. It's, it's the original pipe from the house that was built in 19, was it 49? Yep. So, yeah. So back in the first, the first days of Kevin and Heather, Heather said, should I call my dad? I said, of course not, honey, I'll do it. And look, it still doesn't leak. I did that when we first got here. Which is good, because that's the pooper. <laughs> <laughs> she has such a way with words, doesn't she? So yes, we have tried to snake it. We've tried to snake it several times, but the thing about galvanized steel is, it is rots. it rots from the inside out. And so what it what is happening is it's starting to close up like this. And when things get stuck in there, they get stuck. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all of this galvanized steel with brand new, uh, brand new PVC or CPVC, depending on what what we do. So um, that's going to be a fun project. We're going to have our hands full I on think that we one. We do need to snake it though, so that we can take a shower and it. it, it well, takes temporarily, all day to drain. yes. Yeah. Temporarily, yeah. we'll have to do that. But yeah. let's take you back upstairs. Okay. Um, temporarily, we'll have to we'll have to do the snake. Um, but uh, that's that's what a major project we've got coming. We wanted to show you guys because, well. It's one of those things that's an annoyance, but it's gonna save us a ton of money. I mean, to have a to have a plumber come out and do this could be some big bucks that this family don't have. Um, with my salary and with uh, w you know the kids in school, I can't afford to hire a, a plumber. So, <laughs> what was I just looking at? <laughs> Bandana grandma, you don't know? I'm shocked. Plumbing. You're looking at. You're looking at. So you're looking at the going baddie plumbing. <laughs> that I don't think came out the right way you wanted it to. <laughs> okay, we have to work together because you're scooting and I'm trying. The going baddie plumbing. I just said it, folks. Oh, you geez. heard it here first. <laughs> So uh, anyway, no, you were sorry. just looking at a pipe that I have to replace, and it's underneath my uh, toilet. So uh, there's no crack in it, so that I don't have to worry about plumber's crack. Um, uh huh. Uh yeah. <laughs> this is G-rated. <laughs> it's supposed to be a family show, Kevin. Kevin. Jeez, I got us all crooked too. Yeah, we are all crooked. What did we're you all do? messed up now. What I just did ruined you the show. Do? I just took us downstairs. I showed the toilet when I, my wife didn't want me to show the dirty toilet, and now I'm talking about plumbing. Well, technically, so. it's not her fault. It's the boys' fault because they can't <laughs> aim. <laughs> no, it's because they don't clean it. Well, we all we all take turns and. <laughs> This is what we get. So, uh, go bats in your pipes. Call going batty <laughs> to clear your pipes. <laughs> uh, you don't see this on any channel. Uh, you won't probably because you know there's just other things going on in people's lives. Pe other people have more cooth than we. Yeah, do, we but... have no cooth. And you know what? That's okay. Cooth is overrated. I'll be honest with you. So anyway, that's a to me. I think that's going to be a fun project. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm pretty sure Heather's going to her mother's. Five, six, seven. <laughs> ten, ten to the two. Heather power. just went five, six, seven, eight. And no, yes. I'm counting. Uh, this this last row on this shot. Uh, this I always mess it up, and I've messed it up again. So now I got to pull. It. I'm going to stop. 
I mean, it's getting frustrating. Do you, want me to, do you want me to do it? Yeah. You could always tell <laughs> when when Katie would get mad at a book, she would throw it in the freezer. No, no she'd throw it down the stairs. No, the, who I'd, threw the book in the freezer then? I would put all we, my One books. of our kids would put the book in the freezer. Who was it? I, it was Jack. Maybe it was Jack. Somebody. I don't know. That, but I want, I want to throw my stuff down the stairs right now. I put, yeah, so. I put my report cards and anything that I got from the church in the freezer. She so always thought know. it was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Anyway, I, I just think that, uh, <laughs> I just think that uh, that's going to be a fun project, and so I'm excited about doing it. And we've got some other projects we'll talk about later. But um, do you want to tell them about the shelving? Yes, I okay. So it's really bad when you are all right, home. Come here. School family. We got to show you this. Come with doing? us again. We We're going to walk around again. It's going to be fun. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. They they're with us. They want to okay. see what's going on. All right, so we have we have too much furniture, right? right? So we've got a couch here, we've got a chair here, we've got another couch here, we've got my ugly red chair behind me, which I love, and right here in the corner is something we really love, which is a hundred-year-old sewing machine yes. that was my grandmother's, and we love it, but it's become a problem because we need a place for all the homeschool stuff and we don't have a place for it so, so everything has gotten stacked here that's right so we're a homeschool family and my kids are telling me i've lost my books i'm like you're homeschooled how can you lose them they're in the house somewhere <laughs> so, so we spent a half hour yesterday looking for katie's math book and i told kevin i said i have got to get me some kind of shelves just it doesn't have to be big i'm trying to keep my I, I don't have tons and tons and tons of books we're using the library a lot yeah and so um we got to get organized i just got to get or this is part of another part of my unorganization problem so um so i went out and i got this today oh here we go this was, is what she got it's the kind that you put the cubbies in but it's it's six tall which is tall enough for for what we need and um i think i only paid like $26 for it, which is good. I don't need anything that's going to be, you know, withstand kids because frankly, no furniture withstands teenage boys or almost teenage boys. So, <laughs> <laughs> family homes just like, oh, a flat surface, a flat surface. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that bothering you? So, no, uh, but right here is where there's some dead space, and we're going to turn that into bookshelves for the kids' homeschool. And then we have to figure out some place to put the precious sewing machine, and I'm not sure where that's going to be because. We're running out. We of got things. a lot of we got a lot of stuff. So that's what's going on. That's one of the projects that's coming up. Yeah. It's not a major one, but it's still something going on in our life that we thought we should probably uh, share with you. And and you know, with our live streams, we want to have fun and we want you guys to see because you're part of our community. So these are some of the things we're wrestling through. There's my uh, sweatshirt. Sorry. We're like. I know. I messed crooked. it up again. I messed it up again. Again, Kevin. Jeez. Jeez. Kevin. I can't promise I won't do that again. Okay, by the way. Our, our, your thing's gonna fall over. It's it's all weird. There, there you go. Oh, it's oh. all weird. It's all wrong. Everything went wrong. Oh yes, we love our the arch doorways. That was one of the things in that this house when we bought it that um, we really liked. Uh, now when we had little kids, and I don't know if anybody, I don't even think they make them anymore. But um, does anyone remember a Johnny Jump Up? It was that clamp that you clamped in your doorways, and it was like a kid on a spring, and they'd have their little seat, and they'd bounce up and down. Boingy, and boingy, well, boingy, all boingy. of our doorways in our house are arched like that, except for the one that goes upstairs. So I could never put a Johnny Jump Up in these doorways when the kids were little, and the only place that I could put it was on the steps. That's right. And so um, Jack, when he was little, because Max hated it. He didn't want to be in it. He didn't like it at all. Jack would bounce and then he would get on like the second or third step and then he would launch himself kind of out into the living room and I'm like ah that seems dangerous he lived it's okay so <laughs> but um yeah those were always those were fun but yeah that's kind of a little bit of a tour of our house yeah. you didn't care for it either you had pre preferred the extra hey, sauce if I had one now I'd use that thing <laughs> I'm sure you would so yeah so we have um so what are we? Do? What's the next thing coming up that we've got going on? Where is it? Doorbells. We got to fix the doorbells yes. in this house. Both of them that. got smashed for some reason. Well, I think they're just old, and the weather, like the plastic, gets 
you know, after summer, winter, summer, winter, summer, winter. Or maybe there's just been a lot of kids that go, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, Well, maybe, I don't know, so. I don't know. But we're not going to give it more time than it needs. Um, we'll just get to some of those little small ones and just make it happen, Captain. Yeah. I thought about putting cameras in it. That would be cool. In That'd the doorbell? Cool. Yeah, because then you like, can see people that are coming up to your door. Well, you'd be right at belly button level <laughs> for everything. So all you see is like right here. <laughs> well, hey. Well, uh, if you, you know, you get to see their face until they get to be- belly button level. Right? Yeah, because they're coming up the walkway. Right. And yeah, just like, true. oh no, do I know that person? Do I not know that person? Do I not like that person? Yeah. <laughs> Bandana Grandma said, I was always worried that the jaws of life that helped the jump up in the door frame would come crashing down on my babies. <laughs> so That's right. Yep. Yeah, so. I agree with you. But, um, yeah, so we've been, we have been, those are our, our projects that we have to do along with getting our schedule together and along with doing homeschool and along with Kevin's oh crazy goodness. work schedule and crazy. just all of that stuff. Crazy. So, yeah. Crazy. I'm sorry. I got distracted by winky shiny lights. Um, I'm I'm okay, coming back. Kevin, I'm focus. coming back. I yes. promise. I was I was dealing with a very important issue. Okay. All, All right. right. All There's right. a very important issue I had to deal with. It was a pastoral moment, and we are good. Okay. So, um, install door knockers. Well, I don't disagree with that, um, but I do like the little cameras because you can look right on your iPhone who's knocking on your door. Yeah. And it really it not only is it a security feature. But it feeds my laziness, so I don't actually have to get up. I can be like, what do you want? And go away. That kind of thing. But no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Um, that's so rude. I know. That's me, though. But we, in our neighborhood, we do have some guys that will come around, and they'll try to sell us magazine subscriptions. And Kirby vacuum cleaners. And, um, what? And Which are the, great the, vacuum cleaners no, here, but we don't There's need another one. There's another one. The, the energy thing. Oh, yes. The oh, energy do you know thing. that we got a thing in the mail that they're suing them? Um, what, what is it? The, uh, who was it that we had in Maryland? BG. Solar City. Solar, Solar City. City. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, thing in the mail. Well, so. giddy up then. I'm giddy just, up. I'm just uh, giddy glad giddy to be up. out of all that. Threw it away by yeah. accident. Oops. Well, because usually it's like you get five. As long bucks. as you're not suing me, I don't yeah. think I no, need to know about. No, it was like there's a class action lawsuit against them or something. Up against like that. Solar City. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah. goodness. Well, well, so. we'll be praying for them. Anyway. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the going <laughs> batty kitchen has been uh, hit or miss because of of Biscuits. our crazy schedule, but. Yeah. Um, uh, we've had a couple of awesome moments where Katie's made biscuits. No. Uh, Heather's gone to the butcher. Um, and then there's nothing happening. Yeah, well, and I, it's okay. I, just, I feel bad about that because I keep saying I'm going to do things. And I just, my like, like I said, I don't have a grip on my schedule right now. Trap and so the doorbell. <laughs> yes, well, that's what I told him. I, door was, tasers. I, I, I want <laughs> I want a doormat that says you're standing on the trap door. <laughs> so yeah. that I, I, and I've never seen a doormat like that. Oh, Coco Noel is asking a question. Uh, what is the name of the kitty game? It's called Exploding, exploding Kittens. kittens. Um, one, two, three, kittens. Yes, Exploding Kittens yes. with the note card. Oh, I forgot something for one of my favorite things. All right, go go, go do it. I can't show it to you because it... Well, it's in my backpack if you want to go grab the game real quick. Um, we will put it on a link in our Facebook page, one of our favorite things. Exploding Kittens. Oh, Mom's getting it. Here it is. Okay. Kate. So, um, anyway... Um. Oh, here we go. It's upstairs. Oh. Will you go get it, Kate? Huh? What? Huh? Oh, I wanted because that was one of my favorite things. We played it last night, uh, the other night. What? Ticket to ride. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. I so, won, go and grab I did it. not burn the house down. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, it's a fun game of exploding kittens. I would recommend not buying the expansion pack. This is more than enough. There's, They get a little bit off color in the expansion pack, but this is a very funny game, and it's a, not a half bad one to play with your kids. Um, and we're a little weird anyway, so that's just one of the things that we're going to do. Um yeah. Yeah. So, so there you go. Are we on to the favorite We're thing? talking about we? the so going batty oh, kitchen, going kitchen and the pump the idea of pumpkin yeah. pie is still. Yeah, I still got it. I'm gonna i I'm gonna use I still I keep saying it. <laughs> How's that again, Kate? Duck lips. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. Um, she doesn't know who Vanna White is. I'm still going is. to um She's that person from 
Uh, that place? That place. With those things? Yeah. She's, she's, oh, of course. Here's what Vienna White is. She's lovely, she's pretty, but she's kind of like America's pet rock. Like, she's pretty. <laughs> she's very <laughs> different. She doesn't do anything. All right, folks, she if you're keeping track at home, is she the wheel that's as big lady? as a toilet yeah, seat. She used to. She used to turn the letters, <laughs> but she doesn't even have to do that anymore. She just has to touch the screen. That's so, right. That's right. I mean, it's like. <laughs> Hashtag pet rock, lol. <laughs> So, that I mean, show with the wheel, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yes, but anyway, oh, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin so, pie. I am going to try at some point to make pumpkin pie out of the sweet potato squash that I canned. Um, and then Katie has asked me to make French onion soup for her this yes, week. So yes. that's relatively simple. I think I can do that and probably film that and it'd be okay. So, uh -huh. yeah. Um, I think here's one of the things that I wrestled with today. My wife went to Costco and she found a pumpkin pie for five ninety nine. It was like this big around. It was huge. I, I'm not kidding. Like she didn't bring it home to me. I didn't because he doesn't need it and it has gluten in it. It's not crustless, so it hurts a little. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, you're not, Bandana Grandma. You still got to mail it. Come on. I'm on to a pumpkin pie now. No. Um, yes, I've... the pumpkin pie was as big as a toilet seat. <laughs> I, I did not say that. <laughs> it was, though. You were right. It was there. Hashtag TSB. TSP. TSB. P. 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 Toilet seat pie. To <laughs> so. I was thinking toilet seat. Toilet seat burrito. Yes. Okay. So, so let's move on. <laughs> so. Just keep track at home. It was toilet seat. Uh, big as a toilet seat. What was the other one you said tonight? America's pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another one I didn't keep I, track yeah, of. Anywho. All right. Throat hurts. Uh, yeah. yeah. It had to hurt her throat, which is Yeah. I was weird. eating a piece of chicken. I think I got one of those little bones and it feels like it scraped the inside of my throat. And I'm like, ah. Anyway. That ain't good. Yeah. All right, so the gardening uh, is going to take a little bit of a good... Well, it's a good turn anyway, but we have leaves coming down everywhere. And so we're going to be... Um, we are going to be composting those. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we are going to be putting those all up in a pile and um, getting those into the, the right places. So we have a ton of leaves because we have a ton of trees. And so we'll be gathering those yeah. up and putting them in a compost pile. And maybe even protecting our flower beds with them. I'm not sure yet, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah. Um, we we go uh, we go do some leaf raking, and on Saturday, which I think it's kind of early to do it, but it's the only time these folks were available. Um, I here at the house, we won't we won't do it until they're all down. We'll wait until every single one of them's down. And then we get clean out the gutters because we don't have gutter guards and. If Cutter we guards. don't, if we Cutter don't, uh, we'll have a water issue in our kitchen. In oh the, yeah. Well, the time. the thing about it is, is that over the last several years, we haven't been around to maintain the property as well as we'd like. Well, now we're back. Yeah. And we've started to work on maintaining the water management around our home. And if you guys know anything about water management, you've got to keep the water away from your house. Um, that way you're not getting leaks in the basement and things like that. And so we're working really hard to every once in a while buy uh, drains and things that will kind of sneak it through. Yeah. So um, anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now with the um, water well, management. And we, have, we were told uh, that you need to, like, I guess kind of alternate, like in your compost pile, alternate between like leaves and straw and stuff yeah. so that you it will break down correctly so because mm -hmm. we're relatively new to composting so well it's funny because i almost hesitated to do a composting pile because it seems like every time i get a good composting pile set up we move you know what yeah. i mean because we had a great composting pile in maryland and yep. of course everything else was falling apart but we had a compost pile Cal, good job anyway we had a, really good we had a good compost pile over at uh heather's mom's house which of course will still be there yeah and we'll still turn it had tomato plants and oh um, yeah and, and, and squash. And squash oh my and, gosh um zucchini and all this stuff growing. peppers growing we got to take the them pile. back there we got to take them back there to do a, a, a uh, winter wrap-up oh okay. to get all we that we got to clean weeds out, out yeah. and Oprah pull the plants and everything like dead Beanstalks from Jack. In the <laughs> okay, so imagine this the okra that we planted, we didn't get to show it to you, but it grew in that garden. It grew up past seven feet easy. Yeah. Easy seven feet it's tall. Probably, I've never I seen mean, okra I'm, that I'm big. Five, Is it that one piece of okra still up there? there. We, we're letting it dry, we're letting it dry out for seeds. 
But I mean, it was probably twi- I'm five. I'm five eight, and it was probably twice the size. Yeah. Uh, twice the height of me. Yeah, I mean easily. this this thing is starting to shrivel up, but I mean that's yeah. just that's just huge. We have huge. a bigger one there, don't we? Yeah, yeah. this one. Oh my gosh, let me see that. It's like it bitter. It's prickly. It came out yeah. bitter. I don't want to touch it. It's gonna hurt me. Touch it. Touch, touch it. it. Look at that thing. Yeah. Look at those things. So we're so drying those we're gonna for use those uh, seeds. seeds. Here you go. Yep. Ow. Boy, All right. Lady. She's hurting herself, so I'm going to put these down here until she's done hurting herself. Can um, I myself on purpose? Uh, I, found, I found yellow plum, blum, blooms on my tomato plants today. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, you know, hey, uh, you know, send them on over. We like tomatoes. Yeah. Do you want any pole beans, garlic, or Egyptian walking onion? Sure. That would be a yes. Yeah. For so sure, we're, if we we're can grow. Dry. We're, I, I've got some uh, pole beans. I've got some Kentucky Wonders that I, that are at my mom's house drying mm-hmm. right now. Because she's got the room to do that. <laughs> Dropped a watch. Um, and Dropped then, my hourglass. And then um, we have some that are, they're called barn barnside beans. I think I got them from, um, oh shoot, what's that? Kate, what are you doing? I'm fixing okay. it. Messing with um, things. Oh shoot. She lost it, it. I forget. I forget the place I got him from. Squirrel. It's, it's the... Um, yes. Uh, two Family Homestead helped me with what an Egyptian walking onion is. Yeah. I think it... Do like, you know what that it, is? It like kind of plants itself. Like it, awesome. It's almost... It's I, almost like I, a potato. Well, I've never heard of that. Of, that sounds very it, like, fun. Sends, it's almost like... I guess maybe kind of like a mint plate where it'll send a shoot down into the ground. And then it'll kind of plant itself, and then it'll come up in another in another oh, spot. Oh, Coco Noel, you are bringing up such a good subject. I I have been talking to Heather about this for weeks, and you know, Big Family Homestead has moved to Wisconsin, and we miss them terribly, by the way. Yes. And shout out to Big Family Homestead, who we love. Um, and we have thought about: Do we take on that banner? Do we carry on that banner? And do we have another meetup? Um, we have not decided that yet. I think and, it needs to be warmer because um, <laughs> it's kind of cold If now. we do it, we would need to find a indoor place to do it during the winter time. Yeah. Um, but I really like the idea of doing it at Caesars Creek do near the, the Visitor spring. Center like we did the last time. Yeah, do it like in the spring when it's actually yeah. a little warmer and, you know, not... So the, the meetup is there. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. How are they in the summer? At the tops of the green stems has what it looks like garlic ball bets um if you don't pick them the green stem droops and that's how they plant themselves okay yeah okay and they they self-plant okay that makes sense yeah so it has a little bulb on the end and as it gets as it baker creek that's it i remember it now baker creek is where i got those seeds sorry isn't baker creek a bad word Aren't, aren't they bad no. Yeah. Well, d- remember we got catnip from them, and then it turned it out to be, be lime basil. Else. Yeah. Well, but I mean that's a little mixy up. Sometimes I have my heart set on that catnip, so that way Walter could I could be Would Walter's like you. favorite. <laughs> but but no, I Baker Creek is where I got those uh, uh, barnside beans that they had the really pretty red flower on it, and um, they had a, like a pink pink bean on the inside of it so those are the those were the pole beans so now i finally finished my thought there we go okay I'm hey done. all done amy t let me just tell you one of my biggest uh one thing that i'd always want to do is take a trip to australia or to uh ireland and so hey. doing a meetup in in uh australia with you and uh nz mermaid well, and she's new zealand I don't care. They can fly over there. Um, <laughs> just the whole thing. It's like a, a hop, skip, and a jump over the pond. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, uh, I'm 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 so for a, an Australian meetup. But in the meantime, we'll just have to do an a, an Ohio one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm up for a a meetup uh, at a restaurant. Warm uh, Tootsie's folks pay for their own meals. We have a lovely visit with Bev. Uh, well, she's we'll half-acre homestead. She's in Canada. Oh, yeah. Good, Amy. All right. So it's like super cool eh? there. So, eh? Eh? so. Um, that is. I, I gotta quit reading because I get yeah. getting distracted. Sorry, so. but um, that would be an awesome thing. And we, you know, there are some great places in Ohio where we could go and do get a little room and mm-hmm. all gather together and um, a bit more than a hop on the opposite <laughs> side of the country compared to New Zealand. <laughs> get a map. Kevin, good lord. Well, that's why I was saying it. They're not that close. New um, Zealand. 
Australia. <laughs> <laughs> we we have to get the world map so that your dad knows where places are. Yeah. Hang it up in front of his whiteboard in his office. Yes, and we'll this have a geography lesson. It's funny lesson. how things are shifting. It used to be in my young age I couldn't add, but I could find my way around places. Everything's shifting. Now I can do algebra, but I can't find my way around a map. <laughs> I'll be all right. <laughs> so. She is in the most isolated city. Oh my goodness! I'm so intrigued now so, as to what city you know. Well, I from what I don't I, give it away because we don't no, want to. No, I'm just sitting know. there. I'm thinking from what I understand, like where the cities are in Australia, like they're heavily populated. But when you're not in those, like it's it's pretty like. Kevin needs to go back to school. Kevin does need Ooh. to go back to school. He'll have to Ooh. spend a day with us. We were doing maps the other day, so we map. were. I'm yeah, map. where you had to draw I'm a map of your I'm neighborhood, not I'm a big map. world yeah. map. That was like yeah. a a while ago actually so i draw a place to where you wanted to go and i wrote skyline (laughs) a grocery store that you want to go i put down skyline skyline's Skyline's not a grocery store sweetheart but you said it was fine okay all right so um everybody is throwing out suggestions for a a winter time meetup so somewhere like in between here in wisconsin for the uh for the michigan folks um anywhere uh, like near two family homestead where there's a building and there's hot hot toddies I don't. I don't think I've had a hot toddy in many years. <laughs> I've never had a hot toddy. Oh boy, how! Uh, oh my goodness! I have catnip. I will send to you, Ooh. Virginia. Bring yeah, it. We'll you will be in. our cat's favorite person because yes. he doesn't like any of us. Oh, uh, he <laughs> likes me. He and me. When he's when hungry. I don't touch him or pet him he or likes walk you by him in a funny way. When he's hungry, he'll rub against you. He'll purr. He'll want to be petted. And the moment you feed him, he wants nothing to do. We've with talked you. about this on the show before, and we don't want to bore you with this, but Walter is a different kind of cat. He has done his time out outside for a year and a half. He's been outside. Um, when he was in Maryland, he lived outside, and he's well, sometimes he go in and out. He's killed everything you could imagine: he has mice, snakes, 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 even moles, chickens. If he wasn't too lazy to chase frogs, after them, frogs, frogs, and, and it's just flies. He, he's <laughs> just done. He's tired, and he wants to sleep most of the time. Plus, he's. You know, pretty white. Cutting so, it up, I think you might have a hard time driving your truck to Australia. Oh, I almost fell off the bench. <laughs> like you almost what? fell out of your chair. There we go. Whoops. Bring it on back, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Um, it, so anyway, that would be that would be fun to go to Australia and yeah. drive a truck. Um, that, why not? You need a right? Well, no, he said he was going to drive his truck to Australia. That's not what it says here. Did you, oh, did you, I I've misread. always wanted to go to Australia and drive a truck. Oh, oops. Separate I'm things. Right? I'm like, I you're going to need back a to really too. long bridge. We, <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, um, those are the things. Did you have anything to add to the going Batty kitchen? Because I feel like we no. We I think I'm going to try to do. I'm going to teach me how to make biscuit biscuits the right way instead oh. of what well, she, I made. <laughs> biscuits are a process. Like you can't just get a biscuit recipe and make them and they will be perfect. I've never had that happen. I have my aunt, my aunt Kathy was telling me, and she's a good cook, that she's never been able to make biscuits right. And um, yeah, and my grandmother makes wonderful ones, and you know, I and I just you know the the recipe I had it turned out different than the one Katie made it. Now, um, I did use like I soured milk and used it because I didn't have any buttermilk, and if you put vinegar in regular milk, it'll be kind of like buttermilk. And yep. um, you know, it, what I remember my grandma when she would make them is you you didn't want it too dry. You actually wanted your biscuit dough to be kind of wet. Yep. And so you would flour your surface real well. You would kind of pat it out, you know, knead it a couple of times. Don't overmix your dough, says Yeah, M-E-T. I think that's yeah. what I did this time. The last time I didn't add enough butter or flour. I kind of like halved. I kind of like quartered the butter. Oh, okay. And then I quartered yeah. the flour, and then I kept everything else the same. So, so I mean, I Florida did... Singularity says that that sour milk thing never works for him very It doesn't? Well, well it, it works for me. It, like, you have to, you have to put... Like it's a tablespoon of vinegar for a cup of milk. So you put like a tablespoon of vinegar in it and then you fill the rest of it up with milk and you have to let it sit for a good five, 10 minutes before you use it. Oh, we, I was so, supposed to use buttermilk. I didn't know that. I well, just used you normal milk. You could use normal milk too, oh, but okay. I mean the recipe that I has, I has that's Mom. horrible grammar. Grandma Mer. Um, Grandma Mer. Um, but the recipe that I use, it says either milk or buttermilk you can use. But um, you just can't you can't work it too much. Like I'll I'll put my butter 
And if I use shortening, which I don't use shortening a whole lot, but if I do, I'll put it in the food processor with the flour so that my hands aren't touching the butter and melting it because I'll like have it really cold. And then I'll just process it until it's kind of almost pea right before it's that pea shape, pea about the size of peas. And then you put your liquid in it and it has to be not soupy, but a little wet and sticky. So, and well, then I you, did that right this time. So, <laughs> all right. But anyway, sorry. Hey, it's I all about biscuits. So. I wanted to throw something at you guys uh, to see what you would say because we have a live stream. Uh, we're gonna do Friday Night Live tomorrow night. We are. We are. And that's what we decided. Is we, we did? would do it. <laughs> cool. um, apparently, apparently we, not. We are not but talking way, a whole lot to each other during if, the week. If we do a Friday, if regardless of whether we do it tomorrow or the, or the we want you to pick our topic. And so we're going to call this You Own the Show, and you guys get to uh, tell us what topics you want us to talk about. And even if we don't know anything about it, we will do a little bit of research and we will come prepared about some sort of topic. Now, the only rules around this are easy. Make it about homesteading. It cannot be about, like eye surgery. I don't know anything about <laughs> eye surgery. I, 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 I don't can't, know a whole lot about homesteading. I, well, that's true too. <laughs> but um, you guys own the show and what that means is you guys pick the topic, you guys uh, pick the questions and we uh, go and do a little research and see what we can find about the answers. So when I say go, everybody stop on the live stream for just a second. I know there's a lag so we'll wait. Just stop on the live stream. Don't put anything down yet. When I say go, all right, well, not yet, but when I say go, I haven't said go yet. I've said go several times, but not in the way that should make you go. You're confusing. Stop. When I say go, I want you guys to write down the topics that you'd like Heather and I to talk about at our next show. And we can you ask... You own the show. We can ask Florida Singularity about eye surgery. He says he has experience with that. Oh, so. excellent. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you own the show. When I say go... You're going to, uh, on the live stream, we're going to do this. I mean, it's going to explode. It's just going to go one after the other, after the other, after the other. You can do it. Go. <laughs> I'm trying to explain go. the thing here. I think they're, they're okay. They're so when I awesome. say go, you guys are going to type in the subject or topic that you want us to talk about. On your mark, get set, Go. And we're going to we're gonna read them off as they come across. So there's a little bit of a delay. Raised uh, Winter garden, garden beds. Winter gardens, over, overwintering plants, garden, winter garden chores, starting seeds in winter. Seed swap. Sweet seed sweet swap. What's <laughs> keeping us from having livestock. livestock. Sourdough. Sourdough. Uh, Keep going. Um, hold on. Heather's, Heather's schedule, schedule. <laughs> freezer meals, oh, and shelf stable food. Okay, um, baking. I could do that. I know how to do baking. Hey, crazy days. That's Wanda. Huh? Wanda's awesome. Oh, hey, Wanda. From, Wanda how yeah. are you? So, um, thanks for joining us. I was watching. I was watching her thing on rabbit and dumplings. Oh yeah. And it reminded me of my grandpa. Like my, my grandpa loved anything with dumplings. He was from like way back in the hills in Tennessee. And he would go out and he would shoot whatever, because he grew up during the Depression. Um, it's like Miss Kay's squirrel and dumplings. Yep. Well, and he yep. he actually liked that. He said that was really good. Mm, but he brave. he um, that just made me think of him. I'm like, oh, that just it gave me more realistic fuzzies. expectations on homesteading in an urban environment. Yeah. Best Say that one more time. Realistic expectations in a homesteading environment. In urban. A, in an urban. In an urban environment. environment. Realistic. Sorry. Best resources by homesteading category, books, websites, blogs, vlogs, etc. All right. Plumbing. Keep going. Plumbing. 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 Uh, that's how plumbing is spelled. Plumbing. Honey. That's so, how. Bread. Okay, back to school for her. <laughs> bread making. Gluten free with Thrive Foods. Apron patterns through the ages. Ooh, I haven't. Ooh. <laughs> I have She's got. Those. Katie made a new apron that is super cute. Go get it. Go yeah, get we'll it, have to Katie. show it to. Yeah, um, we'll do that while we're doing this. So, um, let's see. Self self sufficiency mechanics. Hold on, I'm still I'm still on. Best. Oh, co washing. I forgot that I was supposed to do a video on that. Well, on what? Co washing, washing your hair with conditioner. Oh, jeez. So that, that's kind of a girly thing, fellas. So. I guess we'll just take a nap. That one's that one. hard to do because it's like 
I'm not sure I want to do a video in the shower. Well, because we don't you have to be have fully to clothed. <laughs> yeah. The, the, You're going to get your clothes wet because yeah, so we're not that kind of yeah. channel ever. All right, so here is the apron. Ta-da. So if you can see it. But it, down here, it's, she's got this little cute strawberry thing. But you put your eggs down in here yeah. in each little pocket. So there's it's, like, what, 12 of them? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a half. There's <laughs> twelve and a half pockets. Yep. So you could put a dozen eggs. You could probably put two eggs in each one of those. Yeah. But that was super cute. And if I had chickens, I would totally steal that apron. So. Uh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> okay. But, so yeah, that's her new apron that she made. But I thought that was. And really I'm cute. trying to work on an apron every Friday. So that because that's usually my free day off of school, and I need to do it more often. So. Uh, Bandana said the one mini pockets for quail eggs because they're like this big so yeah so yeah that was uh and i it, pretty apron christmas colors yeah it is but the the bottom of it is actually strawberries and yeah i saw them like i'm doing that one yeah so community, um, community building. building saw that one yeah and I think that's what we're doing. I think that's what I love about our show is we're building okay, a little bit so of community. Okay, so a, a discussion on co-washing and the products that I use. So that, that would be a lot easier than... washing and products. Um, is the apron for sale? Yes, it is. It will be. It will be. We have to price it first. We, we've gotten a little behind on the, on we the have. website. Stuff. Again, another thing. We have thing. like a whole bucket that we I have I have a to whole storage bin full of stuff you that need I like, crocheted and you stuff. You need to like stop crocheting stuff so that way Ooh, we... Well, right. but then the crazies come out. So I, I can't, you know. Um, I, I crochet when I get in large groups because I don't do well in large groups. It makes me very like... Oh, like that this nervous energy. So, um... Hey, listen, uh, Coco Noel has a co-wash Kevin's beard live stream. That'd be okay, all right. That, that we be... need to get some stuff out of <laughs> he there has now. He a curly beard. <laughs> yeah. Talk about, uh, talk about uh, just complete boredom. That would do it. Yeah. Um, It'd be a very short live stream because you don't have... You don't have a whole lot a there. Whole be so, a lot of beard. Yeah. Know. It's amazing what I can pack inside there, though. Yeah. Like honey, so, Cheerios. Yeah. Well, swirl. these are great things. I mean, we've got a full list here, folks. Yep. We've got... We've got um, let me read back some of them, and if you if we missed anything, if you're watching this on the rewind, first of all, welcome. We love you, uh, and are glad that you're watching on the love that you're watching us on the rewind. Um, leave the comments down below on what you want us to talk about because you own the show. Um, raised beds, winter gardening, Heather's schedule, sourdough, starting seeds in the winter. Realistic expectations on homesteading in an urban environment. Best resources by homesteading category, uh, by category, homesteading category, books, websites, blogs, vlogs, etc. Sewing, quilting, crocheting, knitting. We don't know how to knit. All of that yeah. stuff. I don't know how to knit, and I can show you how but to But maybe, knit. maybe, uh, Grandma Bonnie could make an appearance and well, teach maybe. us how to knit. I can I show know. you how to crochet, but I would be doing it left handed. I'm yes. left handed, so if you or can. Or I could teach people how to crochet. Yeah, I'm well, maybe we could, sit, we could sit side by side, and she could crochet right handed, yeah. and I could crochet left handed. Well, you'd be the one talking, and I'd yeah. be the one, like, be the one crocheting, and we'd be talking beside each other or something. Well, I, here, listen, um, co washing, uh, and products um someone would like to uh florida singularity said building community yes um and then bread 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 simple bread and hey, let me tell you she doesn't just do artisan style bread she does other bread too and she does it amazing i you know we've done the artisan stuff but the other bread like what about the other donut bread? form no well there's that <laughs> but i mean yeah, when we right. were first married we you used to make loaves of bread for us all the time yeah and it was so, amazing yeah Maybe you can crochet in front of a mirror and put the camera on the mirror, right? Uh, show it right-handed. Ooh, uh, that's a good idea. Make your own soap. I don't know how to make soap. Oh man, that would be a big one. That but I know be... somebody who's actually makes very good soap. So Hoffman oh, family, Hoffman family homestead. homestead. I'll, put, I, I'll put the link in the I chat. I am loving the orange soap. The, it's her orange beauty bar. No. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So it is. Awesome. It makes me feel so pretty. <laughs> I love her charcoal soap. It's really good for a teenager like me. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I miss. Oh, I missed something here. Miss something. Shave your beard for Movember. Listen, that's not funny. <laughs> I can't. I can't shave it. It's my friend. <laughs> He's had it forever. I had it forever. 
Um, let's see. Uh, l let's see here. Let me read a little bit. Uh, maybe you can crochet. Oh, we already read that. Okay. I used the recipe from Big Family Homestead. It's easy. They have a video on it. We use that same recipe. The artisan it's bread amazing. Recipe. Yeah. The artisan recipe. They have a great, great yeah. video on that. You got to go check it out. Um, and then um, bread, free bread. Uh, let's see. Do you like? <laughs> you pulled out a beard. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Brad, Brad has what we like to. We, we even made up a word for it. It's a magniflorious beard. He has a great yeah, beard. Him, Jane All Zero, David Crowder. Yeah. The guys from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 We saw a dude walking down our street that he had a Duck Dynasty. He looked like ZZ Tops. He had this <laughs> great big long beard. And I'm he like, pulled a saxophone out of it. Yeah, it was unbelievable. So. Um, <laughs> no, no he didn't. didn't. <laughs> yeah, well, see, that's the thing. Any bread she bakes, I've got to stay away from. I haven't done a good job on being gluten-free either, folks. Well, it has trying. been very hard. Uh, I'll be honest with you. There's gluten in everything. Um, and so it's been a little bit of a, um, a, little bit of a trial. Yeah. but. Um, well, we have to we have to keep going because we have to show them some stuff. Uh, you know, Brad, I don't call this a beard. I call it my goat. You, my friend, I envy your glorious, <laughs> magnificent beard. So anyway, like um, we do have some Santa stuff Claus. to show. We have some shout outs to give. Yes. Well, thank you for all those topics. Don't forget to leave them in the bottom uh, if you're watching on the Rewind. Now. We love mail calls, and we've had several people send us some awesome things in the mail. Tonight, we're doing a shout-out to Michelle. 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 We Michelle. got some goodies so, from you. Michelle sent us a lovely letter, and it was really sweet. Thank you very much. That and was we'll very, read it because we'll read it's it. for us and not you. That's right. But she said, I, okay, so I made this thing called Watergate Cake a while back, and the recipe that my grandmother okay. had called for a box of Dream Whip. Now, I looked high and low in every grocery high store around and low. where we live. It's usually in the Jello pudding baking sugar aisle. Couldn't mm. find it anywhere. Couldn't find it. She sent me a box of it. So now I can make Watergate cake the and, right way. And she took the time and embroidered this nice little angel for us on, on a, a towel. On our dishcloth. And we need more dishcloths in we our lives, folks. But we don't have enough. And it matches kids, our mixer. The kids so, can't use this one. It's no, too pretty. this one's special. <laughs> this so. is not to dry dishes with. This is for looking. Thank you very much. It says, worry ends uh, with faith, where faith begins. Yes. Sorry. I, it was catching the light and my bifocals weren't working. I don't know what's Your going on. Your transition lenses. Transition lenses. All right. So yeah. thank you, Michelle. That was uh, so, so sweet We feel blessed by that and we're very thankful for that. And it was that. funny because we looked at the recipes on the back of the box and we're like, hmm, those sound good. <laughs> I can't eat a single one of them either. Nope. That's <laughs> the unfortunate part. You know what's yeah. going to be bad is like when Thanksgiving and Jack's birthday and Christmas starts rolling around. That's when all the gluten stuff happens. I'm eating carrots and so that's She says, you're welcome. It spoke to me. I sent it your way. <laughs> thank you very much. It's Thanks like, for listening. All right. So are we doing our favorite things uh we needed did we do that shout out already yes, we did we that did. shout yes, out yes, already yes. okay yeah. um we we're, we were gonna do that but let's skip that let's go on to the favorite things okay so this is my new favorite thing that i got my mother got this for me this is the frankenmuth historical association cookbook from frankenmuth michigan Frank and I Muth. have no clue where Frankenmuth, Michigan is. It's in Michigan. Well, I figured that. But <laughs> this, my mom, I don't even know where she found it, but this book was from 1977, if you can see there. And these are those books that I love because they have, like, all of these, like, Nancy's Pork Chop Recipe. Nancy's Pork Chop Recipe. Pope, pork Chop, yes. Pope chop. And then, um, And then it has, like, the lady's name beside it. The lady who, uh, where is it? Oh, this side. The lady who uh, sent the recipe in. I love these books. This is like the one that I told you about that Kevin's family put out, the Bean Family Cookbook. And um, it's a lot like that, where somebody sends in a recipe, and there's a lot of, I'm, I'm believing that there are probably a lot of German people in Frankenmuth, because a lot of these recipes are German recipes. And a lot of these last names are very German sounding. So. We need to make a homeschool visit to Frankenmuth. Frankenmuth. Where is Frank? I don't even know. Where it's, in it's, well, in know it's in Michigan. It's in Michigan. Michigan. Where in Michigan? Um, if this is the hand, let's see. <laughs> How do you do this? If this is the hand, um, it's, it's somewhere here. In here. Yeah. <laughs> so. okay. Dang, we're good. Yeah. So, but yeah, that. So this was really cool. Like it's got like 
carrot cake in it, and it's got... It's above Flint. Above Flint, okay. Flint, Michigan, All yeah. right. So, uh, Where's Flint, Michigan? Mashed Michigan. potato spice Michigan. cake with caramel frosting. Never heard of it. Mashed okay. potato cake? Mashed potato cake. I've had the potato, like, potato rolls before. Sounds like a win so. to me. So, and then, like, here's, like, you know, the candies and jellies and jams and all oh, that. Yeah. So, this is, this, this was one of my favorites. She gave this to me on Sunday, and I thought that was just the coolest thing. Frankenmuth. Frankenmuth. Awesome. It's fun to say. It's like It is a, fun to say. It's so, like a Frankenstein and then, and then, here is, this is a family favorite thing. <laughs> Amy T, that's awesome. What? <laughs> Buying Kevin a world map for Christmas. <laughs> I just need to get on Google Maps well, more often yeah, and look why, at stuff. Why do we need a world map when we have this game? That's how I will learn this, where Winnipeg was. This is only the country. This is only the United States and part of Canada. Winnipeg of, instead of Wop, Wop, Wonka, Wonka Padong. Jack, Jack called it Wonka Padong, and I'm like, it's First time Winnipeg. we played it, hey, I, can you move me over to Wonka Padong? And uh, sure. so, so, so St. Marie. Mm. Like Saul St. Marie. So, yeah. So, so this is the game that our family loves to play. Ticket to it Ride. It is called Ticket to Ride. This I game is so much fun. And what ticket what it does is, if, I don't know if you can see on the back here, but here are all of these lines here are like destinations that your train has to go to. And so all of the little spots are the cities. So you get these cards and you have to make all of these destinations. And if you don't make it, you don't get all your points. This is such a fun family game to play. But it's called Ticket to Ride. I think you have it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that is, I mean, when when we are not poopy tired and exhausted, that's the game that we like to play with our there kids. There is a um, Ticket to Ride Europe. There is a Asia. Ticket to Ride Rails and Sales board game. There is a Ticket to Ride Asia, mm -hmm. and there's a Ticket to Ride United Kingdom. I think, isn't there an expansion pack to There's a too? Ticket to Ride 1910 expansion pack. Yeah. I there's a Ticket to Ride to the Nordic countries. There's a Ticket to, man, they've got Ticket to Ride to Africa. Yeah. They've got uh, the Netherlands game, Ticket to Ride. So, yeah, you guys got to check out Ticket to Ride. I mean, it's just a blast. It's a lot of fun, and we'll be putting it on our Facebook page uh, through our Amazon affiliate link, and you guys can just uh, yes. get ready for get ready for that. That's just a blast. Yeah, it's very strategic and it's a lot of fun. The louder and more talkative you you get. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so um, that's a fun game. That's and so that is a lot of fun. And are we doing our resources? Resources. Okay. So we we lost a lot of stuff in the move because we just couldn't remember where we packed it, and all of a sudden I'm looking through my magazine rack and I find this. I have been looking for this for three, oh, four, or five months. Months. So, and this is the Ball Blue Book Preserving. This, mm -hmm. I love this book. If you are new to canning, this is the book you need to have. It tells you how to do everything. It tells you, like, this is, uh -huh. this is awesome. The other resource, if you're canning, Patera from Appalachia's Homestead, mm -hmm. she has a wealth of information and... Deep South Homestead. Wanda cans a lot oh, of stuff, yeah. and she oh, yeah. knows her stuff, man. Like you got a shout out to Crazy Days. Man. Yeah, that, well, that's who. And then that's Wanda someone from. canned air or something. Yes, um, her husband. <laughs> he he uh, he he can dehydrated he water. Yeah. So, well, I, that's so okay, funny. So, and Katie actually believed me when I no, said, no, "Yeah, no. you can do that." So. No, 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 no. I went on there. They're like, yeah, you can dehydrate water. Dehydrate water. I'm like, it turns into air, mom. And I I didn't believe it. Wow. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, we will uh, we'll be canning more things, right? Yeah. I think there was a time when... Well, I went to Aldi's one time, and they had like uh, 10 pounds of potatoes for 99 cents. They were yeah. trying to get rid of all of them, and I just bought up a ton of them, and we did, we were kind of kicked ourselves that we didn't can them at that time. Yeah. And so we but won't make that we, mistake we again. We went to Kroger's one time, like right after Thanksgiving, put all of the green beans on sale for something like... Yep. Something ridiculous like like 49 cents a pound yep. for them and we bought like i don't know like 40 dollars worth of green beans absolutely and i canned them and absolutely because it was like we were already out so you know that was awesome yep it sure so. was um the uh oops i messed that up <clears throat> um the uh, uh joy mary franklin i want to tell you canning is not as hard as it appears to be it's time consuming yes and the thing is is that it i would start with water bath canning things that you don't have to pressure can because Pickles. Every, everyone's scared of the pressure canner 
Um, I, I was at first because when I was a kid, my grandmother had this gigantic pressure canner that was probably 20 years old when I was a kid, and I'm 41. Yeah. So, and I was never allowed around the stove when the pressure canner was going. And so I have I have a Presto, which is not it, it's kind of a middle of the road one, and it works fine for me. Um, was it American Standard is like you know the Cadillac of pressure canners, and and is really great. But I've never used one because it, they're just they're they're very expensive. But um, but yeah, I've my mine I've pressure canned chicken broth. I've done green beans. I, green bean mm -hmm. was actually the first thing that I I did pressure can. I've done the um, sweet potato squash. You can do Jelly. pumpkin or squash or whatever as long as you don't puree it. It has to be in chunks. Um, but if you do anything that has a high acid level in it, you can water bath that. So your tomatoes, most of your fruits, your jellies, your preserve like apple strawberry butter. preserves, apple butter, all of that can be water bathed. So and that is that's actually a less stressful process because you don't because like you always hear these horror stories of the mm -hmm. you know pressure canner exploding. I've never actually seen that happen, <laughs> but yeah. um, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, but if you don't have it done right or probably whatever. probably YouTube. Well, we saw this thing at KFC one day, and it was like it had like these yeah. facts on the wall, and it was like they fried their Kentucky Fried Chicken in a pressure yes. cooker. Yeah, yeah. Isabel, that's you make thing. a good point. The lids are cheaper. They're thinner. They're not as sturdy as they used to be. It is something you have to be careful of. Yeah. But, I mean, if you think about it, when you take a look at the future food that we're making and the things that we're canning, yeah. um, we don't we don't necessarily keep them for years and years and years. That's apple butter. That'll this be is, gone. This is something so, that we yeah. actually will pull out in the wintertime and be like, okay, kids, yeah. um, I, I actually it. had these lids, and they weren't, they weren't the ball variety. They were like a, another one. Um, that it buckled on me. Yeah. Like, was it, it like Kerr or something? Yeah, it this was like a Kerr lid. So, and yeah, that's And remember, our take those reserves. rings off. Don't yeah. keep those rings on. Don't keep on. the rings on because that can That'll, give you a false seal. That'll give you I learned that seals. from, from, I learned it from my grandmother years ago, but I relearned it from Patera. She said that. Yeah. So, and then we've got this. That's our, that's our sweet potato squash. So. Ooh, sweet someone, potato squash. Yeah. Two Family Homestead's mom put wax on top of her jams. Yeah. I know oh yeah, I've, I've heard that, that too. Yeah. Matter of fact, that that was a that was something that Grammy used to do. Grammy, yeah. Yeah, my Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> Grammy Lois, I love her. Anyway, yeah. uh, let's see. Our, uh, yeah, the wax. I'm okay. I'm ready to lose power on my phone. So okay, so the, we are stuff. going to do this really quick. Um, if you are if you are a fan of Thrive Life Food, please know that there's a Black Friday sale coming up. On the 23rd, uh, the details will be on my uh, on our Going Batty Thrive Life page, along with whatever else we feel like putting on there. People have often said to me recently, "Why are you putting all this other stuff on there?" I'm like, "Because I feel like it. It's it's going batty." Um, and so, if you guys have time, is that our car? Someone's car alarm. It's the truck across the street. Oh, that that's guy. Right. Okay. Always. Can you go make sure it's not one of our vehicles? We've got a car alarm going off. Yeah, but anyway, it's the guy across the street. Okay. Car. Um, we are uh, Thrive Life Consultants. We were not going to beat you over the head tonight, but if you're interested, they've got some great product. The Black Friday's coming up. Um, there's some deeply discounted things, and I believe they're going to be releasing a price list soon. So as soon as I get that price list, I'll be putting it on the Going Batty Thrive Life Facebook page, and we might even put a little bit of a video up. So um, I would... Uh, I would just ask you guys that if you are interested in supporting the Going Batty channel, uh, by all means, uh, we would love for you to become customers of our Thrive Life products. Also, you can support us for free by using our uh, Amazon link um, and uh, and just whatever you would buy at Amazon, just use it, go through our link and uh, that would support us as well. And that's pretty much uh, of course going to the, go to the going batty store there's yeah. some new things coming up uh, that we're going to get up on the website and, and there's some great things tomorrow. now take pictures of stuff and put it on the website absolutely we can get to that tomorrow so yep um so uh you uh if you are in canada um we can have a conversation because you can sign up uh if you're in if you're in canada and you want to be a part of thrive life food uh, they have a great program for uh, Canadians, and uh, I can show you how to do that if you want to private message me or email me at info.goingbatty at gmail.com. Um, Christy was wondering I feel like if, the game um, show host. do new Thrive Buyers buy 
on sale starting November 22nd. I know that like um, consultants and certain people get to uh, get to go a day early. And then yeah, there are certain perks, um, and we put a video out recently about how you can get involved in the perks program. Um, if you want to check out our video for that, I'll link it to this one. Um, there is a there are a couple of deals for you if you want to get involved in Thrive Life, and and they'll it, you won't be disappointed. It is a great product. I mean, it's um, definitely something we use on a regular basis. Uh, we're eating the strawberries tonight. See that little guy? Because we need a healthy snack. Yeah, and this is this is a dehyd. Uh, I'm sorry, freeze dried uh, strawberry. Yep. And that means all of the water's taken out, but none of the nutrients, none of the vitamins. So, um, anyway, uh, by all means, um, check out our links below for more um, information about Thrive Life, please email us if you have any questions. We'd love to talk to you more about getting involved in Thrive Life. And um, gosh, Christmas is coming and I've already started listening we're to Christmas do, music. We're going to do a video, I think probably one of our, I we've mentioned it before, one of our Friday night freestyles mm. is going to be um, us decorating the fireplace mantle. Because mm. uh, people had asked me after yeah. I did the um, the one for fall if I would do one for Christmas and so I am going to do that so I have to go to um, I have to see what we have left from our Christmas stuff because we had to get rid of some of it because it had gotten mice and stuff in it when it was in storage um, and whatever I, I don't have I'm gonna make a run to the dollar store absolutely and, and pick some stuff up and <clears throat> do it that way love it um we we just you know we enjoy Christmas the Christmas season yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just something that... I, I told him I refused to do a wreath yet because I just got that wreath from the Hoffman Family Homestead, the one that looks like a yep. pumpkin that has the B in it for going batty. And um, I, it's not it's not been on my door a week yet. So yeah, it's not, it's not be, going anywhere yet. We're going to be utilizing... Heck, you could just put more stuff. We'll go, <laughs> go to her website and buy another one that's Christmassy. Yeah. You know, support that awesome well, channel. I want to make, make my wreath too because awesome. I, I used to be a florist... And so that was one of the jobs that I did a lot was I would do wreaths and I mean yeah. there was one time I decorated probably seven different Christmas trees because at the at the time I was you know in my mid twenties and I was the youngest yeah. person there and that was the one that they nobody else wanted to go up and down ladders <laughs> so Michelle have a great night yeah. thanks for joining us um, we're getting ready to wrap up yeah. soon too um, so there's not much left um, but uh, have a holly jolly Christmas. It's, it's the Christmas. best time of the year. It's not Christmas time yet. Have a holly jolly, jolly Christmas. Christmas. It's the best time it's of Christmas the year. Yet. You're totally skipping I Thanksgiving. The Rudolph the red Nose reindeer. What are we supposed to do? Like had a very chubby, shiny the awesome nose. Turkey. And yes, if chubby, you the ever awesome turkey. saw it, so you would even I, say I like Thanksgiving glows because like you get to hang night. out with your family and you don't have to buy presents. Reindeer. So. Enough, to enough, 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 enough. Okay. So I, I listen to it and I sing it in my car all the time when she's she's when not, not there. there so. I have a 40 minute drive, so I have to enter. After. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. If we do a live stream tomorrow, you will be the first to know. I'm going to pray us out because we're Christians and that's what we do. Um, we are so thankful for the homesteading community. Um, we're blessed by you guys and uh, we won't skip Thanksgiving. Don't worry about that. Um, we're just. Oh, uh, I can. I got a turkey today. I've never cooked a whole... Well, I've cooked a whole turkey once. She just told you. once. But um, I got one today because they were... If you guys have an Aldi around you, go check them out because they had turkeys for 99 cents a pound. And it wasn't just skin and bone either. No, it was, a it good was turkey. like a 10-pound turkey. So, yeah. yeah. So, all right. yeah. So, okay. Yeah, well, you can pray. Am I okay? Okay, yeah. all right. Father God, we thank you so much for this awesome community of people. We thank you for their uh, presence and their humor and all the fun that we've had tonight. Father, we just pray for each and every one of them, their lives, their families, the stuff that's going down. And we thank you for this crazy thing called homesteading and self-reliance that pulls us all together. Lord, uh, be with us as we walk today and as we uh, go forward, go before us, go beside us, and go behind us. In your son's name, amen. amen. All right, guys. That is what they say is that. And Katie learned all those words or prepositions today. What, are, what, what, what does she, she call prepositions? The emos of grammar land. The emos of grammar, <laughs> the emos of grammar land. land. Because they really don't, they don't oh have a, goodness. what was it you said? That they don't have a, a they, they're all the left out words, so they all just <laughs> gave them a group. <laughs>
Is that, <laughs> they're all the left out words. Well, they're not except now, for they're not a, they're except not in for articles. articles. They're, yeah. How about this? As we say goodbye, I'm just going to start doing shout outs to everybody. Good night, Florida Singularity. Good night, Life Unwired. Leslie B., Coco Noel, Joy Marie Franklin, Tim, Isabel, Amy T., Nancy S., Noah's Ark, Alicia, Nancy Briggs, Virginia, Graham also, Happy, Baker's Mom, Michelle, Two Family Homestead, Michelle, no, I already said that, <laughs> Alicia, night, said, Nancy Briggs, uh, Life Unwired, uh, Katie Going Batty, oh, Brad yeah. Dalby, Coco Noel, Bandana Grandma, uh, Life Unwired, Michelle, I already said that, yeah. Uh, Biono, Biondo, I said that wrong, and that's all I got. So, anyway, thank you, Tina. Good night. Uh, thanks for joining us, Tina. Um, Christy, thanks for joining us. Nancy, thanks for joining us. Um, and I'm good looking, night. I'm looking, Pamela, good night. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Don't want to leave any book. Uh, oh, oh, books are people too. Uh, Dr. Pepper. Uh, that one troll that got deleted. Good night. Um, <laughs> and Nancy Briggs. Good night. Um, I think you're repeating that. I probably am. Yeah. I just don't want anybody to feel left out. All right. Well, All if right. we if we left you out, we did not mean to. So, but good night. So long, farewell. Oh, can you sing the Carol Burnett song and tug on your ear? I, can I kind of forget time. how it goes. Was it, I'm so glad? I'm so glad we had this time together. Da, 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 da. I forgot the words. I'm like, uh, I'm like the, uh, you know, the Elvis that <laughs> forgot all the words. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> so, good night, Baker's right. Mom. All right, all good night, those. everybody. Guys, thank you for joining us. You know, as always, more updates as we go.